What's up guys, welcome to this Python tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how we can create a screen recorder in Python. This is going to be a fun video, so without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video. So in order to create a screen recorder, I need few libraries. So the first one is NumPy. So I'm going to say import NumPy as NP. Next, I'm going to next I'm going to use the image grab module from below library. So I'm going to say from PIL import image grab. Okay, but this is only going to work on Windows and Mac if you are linux then what you need to do is you need to install the pi screenshot library then you can say from pi screenshot import image grab so we have the same module in the image uh, in the pi screenshot library and you can use it the same way i'm going to use it inside this video so now we need one more library which is cv2 so i'm going to say import cv2 which stands for open cv now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a while loop so i'll say while true what i'm going to do inside this while loop I'm going to get a screenshot so I'm going to say image equals to image grab dot grab so what this grab dot grab method is going to do is going to take a screenshot and we are going to store that inside this variable img but we need to convert it to a numpy array so I'm going to say np dot array and wrap it inside this and wrap it around this image grab dot grab method just like this so now we have our image now what we want to do is we can display it just for testing purposes so i'm going to say cv2 dot im show and inside this im show let's name our window let's name it screen and the second parameter is the frame so in our case it's img so this im show is going to display this img inside this screen window so now if i write if cv2 dot wait key one equals equals 27 which is for our escape key so if i press the escape key then i want to break out of the loop and in the end i can say cv2 dot destroy all window so let's see if our code captures the screen in real time so if i run the code you can see this is our screen being fetched in real time so we are successfully recording the screen in real time so if i hit escape now what we need to do is we need to save this in a video file and when i say video file what i mean is we need to create an actual video file and a video file in order to create a video file we need to define something called 4cc code so i can come here and say 4cc or cc equals to cv2 dot video writer and inside here we can define our 4cc code so what is this 4cc code 4cc is short for four character code and it's an identifier for a video codec or compression format so if i am using mp4 format then what i need to do here is i need to give this asterisk sign then i can say x264 so this is the codec that mp4 uses and we need to define it inside this 4cc so now we can come here we need to define one more thing which is the size of our video and in order to get that what I'll do is I will just grab one screenshot and that screenshot is an image and that image will have the size property associated with it I'm going to grab the size of my screen from that image so I can say size equals to image grab dot grab wrap it inside parentheses then say dot size so this will give me the size of my screen then what i need to do is i need to say output equals to cv2 dot video writer and inside here i need to use some arguments so, so the first one is going to be the file name so let's say output dot mp4 the second one is going to be the 4cc code the third one is going to be the frame rate so in this case we are going to keep our frame rate at five frames per second and the final one is going to be the size of our video which we have already defined here so now we need to come down here and write cv output dot write and we'll give it an argument which is going to be img so this output dot write will write this img frame inside our video file which we have defined here then we need to come here and say output dot release all right so now everything is set we are ready to roll if we save our file run the code 
we have some error let's see what we know it didn't run the so i made a mistake here it's actually video writer underscore 4cc so if we save our file now run the code you can see we are successfully uh, capturing the uh, screen right now but we also need to check if it has recorded it and stored it inside a video file so if i hit escape key we will end this screen recording and if i come to my current working directory here and you can see an output.mp4 file has been created if i open it up you can see it has captured everything that was happening on the screen so we have successfully created a screen recorder with help of python programming language so this is it for this video if you have any questions you can comment down below and like this video subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for future upcoming videos i'll see you in the next one peace out